is this? You see this animation? It literally takes like two seconds to load. In Windows, it loads instantly. It's completely unnecessary and it can't be disabled. Look how long this animation takes. Like, why can't it just instantly load? Or at least give us the option to have it instantly load. I literally press it and it doesn't like fucking remember what I press. If I press left and then right, see, it didn't register the left. I go left, immediately right, it didn't register the right. I have to time it just to right. Does Apple even have UI engineers? So my mouse has two side buttons, but Mac can't natively program these side buttons. So I had to buy a third party software called Better Touch Tools to be able to map these buttons to system functions. You would think that would be a standard feature in an operating system, but not with Apple. Check this out, this is really stupid. So if I sort by size, it splits it up into these groups of these different sizes. Why would I ever want this view? I just want all of these files sorted by size. That's it. But in order to do that, you have to sort by name and then click here on the column. In tile mode, this isn't even possible. I don't want these groups of the files. I just want the files to be sorted. Is that too much to ask? All right, so this one is really frustrating to me and really slows down my workflow. So when you're in tile mode in Finder and you press right, it goes to the right. But at the last column, pressing right does nothing. So when you're previewing the files, when you're at the last column, pressing right does nothing. So your only option is to go down or go up. You're not able to go to the next file in the list. This could easily be solved by them just having it so that when you're in the last column, pressing the right key goes to the next item. So this really slows down my workflow. So if anybody knows a solution to this or an alternative to Finder that lets me view my photos and videos in tile mode while also going through them sequentially without having to go through this up, down, left, right nonsense, please let me know because this is really stupid. Why is there no default way to get the file path that you're currently in? So I found out there's a way you can add a service that lets you get the file path, which I did, which is the only reason why I have this copy path here. But this is something that should be there by default. So this has been bothering me for a really long time. If I drag these files into here, there's one duplicate. My three options are to either halt the transaction, replace the file, or to keep both. Why can't I just skip the file that's already there and then add the files that aren't there. I just found out that you can actually hold down the option key and this changes to skip. But who's gonna think of that? Like, why is this a hidden feature? And personally, this is the action I'm gonna be taking most often, so I think it should be a default feature, but at the very least, it shouldn't be hidden. Come on, Apple, you can get better than this. Tell me, do you know? Tell me, tell me how you feel. Uh, I've been on the road.